The poverty-related attainment gap is wide as ever. Hundreds of teachers on zero-hours contracts for years on end, even more leaving the profession forever. An exodus of staff from private and voluntary nurseries because of government-directed inequality of funding. Violent attacks on teachers. A decline in pupils taking STEM exams. Big shortfalls in STEM teacher training recruitment. Scottish universities more dependent than ever on tuition fees from international students. Despite the vulnerability that comes with global turbulence, Scottish universities losing hundreds of millions of pounds of UK research funding. The Skills Landscape Review still being reviewed five years on. The Higher Education Minister criticised by Audit Scotland for a lack of leadership on skills. Colleges that still don't know what government wants them to do. Thatcherite, national testing and league tables, ignored by the teachers, ignoring the Greens and ignoring this very Parliament. On that, the SNP still haven't learnt that you don't fatten a pig by measuring it. A Covid exams debacle that undermined the judgement of teachers and condemned poorer pupils. Pupil equity funding used to pay the police. An under-resourced reform of additional needs, keeping the SQA and Education Scotland in all but name. They'll now even share the very same offices. To top it all, teachers on strike on pay for the first time for 40 years. The last time was when the Conservatives ran Scottish education four decades ago. It was that long ago, even I was at school the last time we had a strike. The SNP are bereft of ideas. They are bereft. And the vision today that the Education Secretary set out was a rosy picture. But it was so far removed from reality and the daily experience of teachers and pupils in this country. All of this since Nicola Sturgeon made education her defining mission. Once the pride of the nation, highly regarded across the globe, in the last 15 years, slipping down the international league tables, now the First Minister has made it a whole lot worse. The flagship education bill was ditched, replaced by a basket of contradictory and knee-jerk measures. She put her most senior ally in charge of education. Now John Swinney is back at his old job. It was her number one priority. Now Nicola Sturgeon hardly even talks about it. It's a terrible record. But it's not the Scottish ministers who have lost out. It's a generation of young people who have lost out. And they should be ashamed of this record. Now members know I like to be positive. We... We need an alternative approach to this miserable performance by our SNP government. So what to do? We must start by valuing teachers with decent pay, better working conditions and trusting their judgment with a new Macron agreement. The one which reformed the profession under the last Labour Liberal Democrat leadership. Just briefly, yes. Um, Bob Doris. I thank the member for giving way. He's mentioned several times about the professional judgment of teachers. We're looking at a new national qualifications framework for attainment. How much do you think we should move away from exit exams and how much towards more accreditation from teachers when we look at that balance? Because that would be a positive constructive contribution to make to this debate on education rather than just sound bites. Willie Rennie? It's hardly a soundbite to set out the atrocious record of the member's government. And he should be ashamed that he's a, he supports this government day in, day out. But I want to enter this debate, and I'm listening very carefully to the approach that's been taken. I think there are some innovative ways that we can, we can change the way that we have the exams and the qualifications and the years at which we take them. That requires decent consideration, but it's is not a replacement for a proper strategy on the wider responsibilities of this government towards education. I think we need to make the curriculum work with specialist advice and support for classroom teachers that has been absent for years since the Curriculum for Excellence was established. And we must abolish national testing 
and reforms the exams and qualifications so that they match the curriculum. We must elevate the prestige of vocational qualifications. Despite trying for decades to do so, we need to learn the lessons from Germany in those reforms. Reform the age at which children begin formal education at school, in line with SNP policy. I seem to support SNP policy on this more than the SNP government does. Create a new national independent education bodies that have the trust of teachers because they are led by teachers following the recommendations of the Muir, the Muir Review. My colleague Beatrice Wishart would want government to explore making swimming a key part of the curriculum, just like they have in England. That is something that is incredibly important for our young people. Give clarity for colleges with an urgent statement of intent, including their central role in training and retraining for the new sustainable economy. Hold a national review of our universities to set long-term sustainable approach. Create the new Scottish Erasmus without any further delay following the Taith Welsh model, which is already up and running, offering opportunities for young people. Create the reform, the funding for early years to ensure all staff are paid fair and equal wages, no matter their employer. These are all positive proposals for our future. Liberal Democrats believe so much in education. It is the great leveller. It is the opportunity provider. It is the economic driver and the society maker. That is why we need a government. We need a government that prioritises education rather than the miserable record that we've had over the last 15 years. Let's have a change, a new vision and a new leadership. Thank, Thank you. you.